freshman, but um, what uh, what are his thoughts about playing, you know, for his dad? I guess. Do you know? Do you know about uh, that? I think he thought it was going to be a lot different. I think he thought I was going to be like on him. I was going to be tough. But the cool thing for me is I'm not his actual his actual coach, and so I let Coach Brown kind of coach him up. I'll say a few words to him here and there. I scream, you know, I scream at him when he gives up a deep ball. But uh, besides that, I'm kind of hands off a little bit. Uh, I think probably as he grows, you know, and he, he starts to learn a little bit more, he'll probably come ask me stuff at home about this coverage or that coverage or stuff like that. But I think he's kind of raw right now, so he's trying to figure it out. You know, this is, uh, you know, what his eighth day into it. So, you know, he's trying to figure out, you know, uh, where's the sub at and why am I so sore and all those type of things. So, How has he played? He's played okay. He's getting better. You know, he needs to put on some weight. You know, he's playing hard. I mean, I would say he's exceeded my expectations. Now, I'm not saying he's going to go start against Ole Miss, but, uh, you know, he's getting better. Yep. What about this defense as a whole, you know, eight or nine days in of fall camp? You like where you guys are at? Up and down, you know, and it's real hard uh, to really tell, uh, you know, because you have offense one day that's doing well, then we'll do well. And so, you know, it's kind of up and down, which is good, all right? okay, because you don't want – to ever see one side of the ball just completely always doing doing well. And so, you know, we're up and down. What are kind of the main points of emphasis at this point in camp? Uh, tackling. Tackling and, uh, uh, you know, just finishing. Uh, you know, just finishing. They're sore right now. And, you know, they're feeling their legs a little bit heavy and stuff like that. And so, uh, just, uh, you know, you, uh, uh, you know, just wanting them to just keep going. Last year, last year tackling was a problem at times. Did you see that on film when you went back and watched? Me? Was that one of the things you knew needed to improve this year? Or? Yes, I saw it on film. But I saw it on film everywhere. You know, with the game now being, you know, in, in, in space, you know, as a coach, I think that you have to harp on tackling. And I think the problem with a lot of people is, is how do you work on tackling? You know, and so uh, I think in order for you to become a better tackling team, right, you have to work on it. Now, uh, the thing with that that's hard is you're good, you're good players on offense. You really can't tackle those guys. You know we can't go out there and tackle Jay Ajay or tackle Shane, you know, or Matt Miller every day. So you know you have to figure out drills. I think to work their feet and their hands, you know, and get their pad level uh, uh, to where they need to be. You said you've had about eight practices and things have been up and down. But as a whole, what have you been most pleased with, and what do you think needs the most work? Uh, I've been most pleased with actually our tackling. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it still needs to improve a little bit, but it's, I think it's a lot better than what I thought it was going to be at this point. And then the things that need to improve is just us talking to each other. You know, I think there's still, uh, as far as, you know, our system, mm -hmm. there's, there's, the, there's the, okay, I got the call, now what do I do? And it's not just, I have the call, let's play ball now. So, you know, as they learn the system and they learn why I'm calling it, I think that we'll get better. Can you see defense. that improving in the next two weeks? Oh, yeah, over time it will, you know, because we'll, as they keep running, uh, as they keep running our scheme, you know, and, and getting a feel for why I'm calling. The thing is, as a coach, right, you want your players to kind of think like you as a coach. And so as time goes on and they understand, and understand why I'm calling this defense, uh, you know, but they'll have a good understanding of, you know, of, of me, you know, and, and uh, you know, when and why I'm calling stuff. How have you done health-wise, and has that impacted what you've been able to install or, or get to defensively? No, we're not. I mean, I mean, we'll install, you know, right. as we go. Uh, and so, I mean, because I don't care how, how many injuries you have, uh, you still have a football game on the 28th, you know. And so Ole Miss, uh, I don't think they'll care who's injured and who's not injured. So, you know, you got to keep their, your, your plan going, uh, you know, and keep the guys going as well. Corey Bell was saying that uh, you guys had him watching a little bit of uh, Seahawks film. Uh, what, what were you hoping they would get from that? To watch how fast those guys play. That, that w when you look at uh, the Steelers from, you know, the 80s and you look at uh, the Ravens and you look at the Seahawks and you look at the, the Bears, when you look at those teams that play great defenses, they all run to the ball. And the Seahawks run to the ball like no other. And so our emphasis is, uh, you know, we want guys flying around, you know.
Um, you look at those safeties, you know, Darian and, and Jeremy even played a ton back there, but, but obviously the secondary didn't play to the level that everybody expected last year. What, what do those two guys need to do to take their games to the next level? Be leaders, I think, you know, and lead, lead on the field and off the field. You know, uh, in today's athlete, I think guys are afraid to say something to guys if they're doing wrong or if it's not the standard, you know. So, you know, I think everybody wants to be everybody's friend nowadays, uh, you know, and not hurt anybody's feelings, you know. And for me, I think that uh, it can't just come from us coaches. Once you see your peers getting on you, now I think the team is going to change. So once we start getting our players within the team, getting on other players then, it'll, it, uh, you know, but it'll be where we need it to be. Do they play that position the way you want it played? Not yet, but they will. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's missing or what, what does he need to see there? That flying around to the ball, yeah. you know, flying around to the ball and just, and that, that still being leaders, you know, and still seeing stuff that when a guy isn't doing what he needs to do, you know, tell him, you know. It, it, to me, they're going to decide what our, our team is going to decide what type of team we're going to be. You know, I can scream at them and yell, but at some point my screaming is going to, it's going to be like, coach, I'm not hearing what you're saying no more. You know, so once your peers are getting on you, it means more, I think. But you got so many linebackers that have had experience playing. Now you really only have two linebacker positions out there. What is that competition like? And is there anybody that, that kind of has the lead, you know, on the depth chart right now? Uh, they're all doing well, you know, and it's, I think it's still too early to tell. Uh, the one guy to me that's standing out right now as a leader is uh, uh, Ben Weaver. He's a guy that I think he knows the defense, uh, has a chip on the shoulder. You know, I like him because he will hit you. You know, I mean, and, and he'll hit you hard too. So, uh, you know, uh, he's a guy that stands out. I didn't see him in spring because he was out. Right. So, you know, he's a guy. But that group is, I mean, as far as depth now, that depth is pretty good on that in that position. Talked to uh, Jamar Taylor in the spring, and I, mm -hmm. we asked what what your type of defense was going to be, and he said they're going to talk a lot of trash and they're going to be really good. What uh, <laughs> do, do you? Uh, <laughs> it, it, right. it seems like you know when, when these one on one drills, there's a lot of competition and stuff. I mean, do you kind of right. want your defense to play with that edge, kind of that, that swagger? You have to play with that edge, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the I mean the offense is trying to score points on you, you know, and they're trying to score a lot of points. You know, offense is these that mo most people that come to games, I would say 85 percent of people want to see offense want to see points, all right? So right there, you have people just coming for one thing, okay? And so for me, if you don't play with that edge, then you're behind in time. And so our deal is we want to be physical but legal, okay? So let me set that straight. <laughs> and uh, But to me, if you don't have that edge, then you're done, I think. Do you think there was something missing when you are watching the film from last year? Just they were giving up a lot of points, a lot of yards that they weren't used to doing? You know, I mean, I don't, you know, what last year is last year. You know, like I said, I didn't, I wasn't, you know, at a and uh, you know, we weren't great at A&M, you know, on that side of the ball, you know. And so uh, I'm worried about this team now. So you know, last year is last year. You, Have talk, you, you talk about trying to that, get that edge. That's often probably something that's more mental, though. Right. Or it starts with being mental. Right. right. So how do you instill that in this group? I'm going to test them, you know. I come at them in a, in a different way. Uh, challenge them a little bit and see, uh, you know, to me, everybody's different, you know. Uh, so I think every coach has a good a good feel for their players and we know how to get them to uh, understand that you have that next level and it's, us, and, and, and it's up to us to get them there. I'm not sure if we're going to talk, sorry, I'm not sure if we're going to get to talk to you before the Ole Miss game again, but uh, you're obviously, you know, you played against some being in the SEC. I mean, mm -hmm. is this... What do you what do you tell the guys about what they're what they're going into down there at the Georgia Dome for a lot of guys that haven't been down there and just the atmosphere and going up against a team like that? You're ready for a physical game. You know they're well coach. Uh, you know they have some pros on their team. You know and uh, you know for some reason everybody thinks that uh, they're going to overlook us. That's not happening. They're ready. Uh, uh, they're probably one of one of the teams in the SEC that I thought were. I mean in every phase they're well coached. They're well coached on you know all three phases. Uh, and so they're big, they're physical, and they're fast, you know, and so.